ke yasi Ukozote Kuna kubangu wala kumakini Um, you're welcome to this live, live Facebook yoga class. We are going to start in a few. I hope you're ready and I'm Joyce. I'm happy to see you today and joining me. Please enjoy and find any comfortable space and we are going to start in a few. I welcome my partner over there. Henry Brown, Zili. So, you are ready? We are going to start. I hope everyone has already found their mats. And for today, we are going to start in child's pose. So, everyone should be on their mat. And we are going to start in child's pose. So, We are going to be in child pose for a while and in this child pose I hope everyone is watching and seeing You're going to spread wide your hands and you make your big toes touch open wide your thighs you're going to send your head as far as you can to your mat. And you're going to breathe in. So you're going to watch. And he's going to be my student today. So you're going to breathe in. And you breathe out. Breath in. And out. Make sure your head is touching the mat and you're spreading really, really wide onto the mat and your big toes are touching. So you send your bum or your butt through your heels and you make sure it's touching. So you open wide and you spread onto your mat. We are slowly going to come up. And you come to our pose. So we are going to breathe in and gaze up. And breathe out, gaze at your tummy. You go in, gaze up. And breathe out, gaze at your tummy. Two more times, breath in. And out. Last time, breath in and out you're going to tuck in your toes and you come to downward facing dog so you make sure also your hands are fully grounded onto the mat and the four corners of your feet are touching the mat so you breathe in in this downward facing dog and you stay there for at least five seconds. We breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. You're going to jump to your hands or walk. And you're going to hold your right, your left elbow with the right hand and right hand with the on the right on the left. Uh, and slowly, you're going to bend your legs and make sure your upper body is lying and resting onto your lower body. You relax your neck. And in this ragdoll, you stay there and you focus 
onto your body. And slowly, we are going to jump back to downward facing dog. So jump back to downward facing dog and walk your hands to your feet. You raise up for extended mountain. And you bring your hands to prayer position. So in this prayer position, everyone, you're going to close your eyes. And we are going to set an intention for this class. Think about your breath. So press really hard into the palms of your hands and close your eyes. Think of how good you're going to be onto your mat. Acknowledge the endurance that you're going to think about, that you're going to put onto your mat. And be grateful for it because it's going to happen. And slowly you're going to gaze your eyes up and put your hands up to extended mountain. You're going to fall forward. Halfway lift. And you're going to jump to a height low plank. Jump to height low plank. Upward facing. And downward facing down. So you're going to walk your hands back to your feet and go up to extended mountain, fall forward, half a lift, and you're going to jump to a height, low plank, upward facing, and downward facing down. So you breathe. You breathe in and out, you relax your upper body and relax your neck. You're going to walk your hands to your feet. You come up to extended mountain, fall forward, half a lift, and you jump to a high low plank, upward facing. And downward facing down. So you breathe in and out. We have more two times to go. Walk your hands to your feet. You raise to extended mountain. Fall forward. Half a lift. Height, no plank. Upward facing. And downward facing down. Walk your hands to your feet. Beautiful. Raise up and fold forward. Half a lift. Jump to height, low plank. And upward facing. And downward facing down. So we stay there and we breathe. We breathe in. Every time you need to catch your breath. Please make sure you go to the first pose that we had. That's the child's pose. So in this time, in this moment, we are going to raise our right leg up. And you are going to bring it in between your hands. Everyone, make sure you're there. And you're going to push it back and you press it down and one more time raise your leg put it in between your hands and raise back to downward facing dog and press down the leg. so you're going to raise the leg you bend it bend it to the left side and you're going to flip your dog so you stay here 
and make sure you have lifted your your lower part really high and slowly we are going to come back and we go to on the left side in a side plank you breathe and slowly we meet in height high plank low plank upward facing and down You're going to raise the left and you bend it and you twist it to flipping your dog so if you can go for full pause don't be afraid to challenge yourself so you breathe and slowly you change and come back to the right side in a plank so you can go for an evaluation of putting one knee down or having both the knee up. You breathe in and out. We meet in high plank and we rest in child's pose. So you stay there to breathe and catch your breath. Stay there and breathe in and out. I'm really excited for this first trial of a community class. Normally Mondays I have community classes and now I'm excited to have you here today. So in this child pause, I hope everyone has caught their breath and they are ready for the next Praise. So we are going to come to our pause, everyone. And we are going to push the bum up for downward facing dog. And you're going to raise your left leg up. Put it in between your hands and go for crescent. So go for crescent lounge and put up the leg. So the back heel is off the mat. You raise your hands up. And slowly you change. Hold down. Come back up. And in this downward facing dog, we are going to go for the left leg. Bring it to crescent. So you go for crescent lounge. Make sure your hips are square to the front. You breathe and you touch down. So the second time you're doing a crescent lounge, you're going to evolve the crescent lounge. So take the right, hold, and you're going to go and make sure you are stretching the side. You breathe, back heel off the mat, and slowly come back. Hold down and go for downward facing dog. Left side. I will break this down for almost everyone to have it. And slowly, you're going to hold at the back and you evolve this side. And slowly, hold down and come back to downward facing. So we are going to stay here and we catch our breath. Everyone you breathe in and out. Breath in and out. So you jump to your hands or walk. And you're going to raise extended mountain and you fall forward, halfway lift, and high low plank. Upward facing, and downward facing. So we are going to raise the right leg up, and you bring it to warrior one. 
So the back leg is at 45 degrees and the front leg is at 90 degrees. So you stay there and make sure you square your hips to the front. You breathe in and out. Hold this pose and go and sink really low into the pose. Open your hips really wide and slowly you're going to open to warrior two. Warrior two and go for extended side angle. You breathe in and out and slowly we go for vinyasa onto the other side. So the same thing that we have just done, we are doing it again. And you're going to raise the left leg. Bring it in between your hands for warrior one. You breathe in and out. Breathe in. Sink really low and maintain the 90 at the front leg. Open to warrior two. Feel like someone is really, really pulling you at the front. And you go for extended side. You breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Slowly hold down. And we meet a downward facing dog. So you breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're going to jump to your hands and we go to chair pose. So everyone make sure your big toes are touching. Big toes are touching. And you're going to sit really low, like create a chair for yourself. Make sure the bum is tucked in, but not out. Tuck in the bum and raise your hands up. You sit in your chair for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fold forward. Half a lift and jump to high plank, low plank, upward facing, and downward facing. So I'm going to jump to another chair. And in this chair, you're going to raise your hands up. You sit in your chair, bring your hands to prayer position and you twist on the right thigh. So you open your chest, press into your palms and open your chest. You breathe, you breathe in and out and slowly come back up to the chair, hold prayer position and twist on the left thigh. You breathe in and out, breath in, and out. Slowly, fall forward. And in this moment, we are going to hold, get the two-piece fingers, and hold the big toe. So your big toe, bend your legs and create a straight back. And you fall forward and make your legs straight. So you breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Slowly get the palms and put them below your feet. So we go to palms Palms to toe forward fold, create, bend your legs and create a straight back. And you fall forward. And feel the stretch in your legs. 
you breathe in allow yourself to go deeper into the pose and slowly let go so everyone is going to try out a crow so palms hold make sure they are fully grounded you hold the mat and you're going to lift yourself so try and lift yourself or you can have a variation of one leg at a time and you change or you lift so you try for yourself at least five seconds everyone you lift don't be worried of the shaking shaking is part of the game try to gaze at the front see what can happen for you when you gaze at the front so you breathe hold with your core and slowly we are going to jump to a high plank and in this high plank we are going to have at least a challenge of 20 hand taps for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so we go to child's pose and we are going to set in for equanimity that's the next sequence that we are following so guys don't give up so allow yourself to continue working even when you're tired even when you have an obstacle commit to growth commit to growing and going ahead even in this period of corona stay at your mat stay in your game don't allow this to away to weaken you and i mean give up so we are going to stand up and we are going to go for the poses some poses of yoga you check your balancing but also you see how the body is aligned so we are going to raise up and we are going to go for ego pose on the right side so you get your right leg press it onto the left make sure you have a tie bend your leg as if you're going to chair pose your hands to the front create a tie and create that beautiful ego head up there and you sit for one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten you change on the other side so at the front this is how the ego looks at the side this is how it's looking so you go for the left leg so you get the, le the left leg put it on the right leg and then right hand goes above and we go down for one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so after that ego pause we are going to go for standing leg rise and you're going to challenge yourself to the maximum you can take the leg higher than I am doing it. So we are going to go fast. We are going to bend the leg. Make sure the toes are looking at, looking up. They are flexed. You're going to take the, the leg to the right. And you're going to bring it back to the front. You're going to get two piece fingers. Make this leg straight. make it straight lift it lift your core and you're going to swing it to the back 
so you go for an airplane pose you stay there and you're going to go for a half moon so right hand down and left hand up so you stay there you breathe you lift and slowly you're going to come back without stepping down hold the leg and press it down I hope that was amazing so we are doing the same thing on the left side so you fold flex the feet take it to the left and bring it back to the front two piece fingers make the leg straight lift it leave it to go to the back for airplane pose and switch to half moon and slowly come back and you go down yes that is how hard it always is so most of the time right is better than left or left is better than right but it's all okay whether with or without it's okay so we are going to go for a dancer's pose and we are going to hold it on the right so this is how it looks you hold in or out so I hold in and I lift you step there lift your chest and create a back it's like you're creating a back bend and slowly you change to the left side step there and you press down so from there we are going to create a tree and this is the last pause in this sequence so you can put it here below the, the knee or just touch the mat so it depends on your stability and your pose so I'll put it here and I'll raise my hands up and hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We change on the left side. So you raise and stay for one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you press down. I hope everyone is feeling good on this. And we are going to go down onto the floor and we are going to go for igniting. So Please everyone find your mat, lie onto your stomach, so you go here onto the mat. And we are going to go for locust. So in this locust, we are lifting off the legs, lifting off the chest. And we are going to take the hands to the front, squeeze them in, squeeze them in for five. Ready? And one, two, three, four, and five. And you rest. And slowly, we are going to hold the floor ball. So you're going to hold your legs. You lift off the, the thighs and also the chest. 
So I hope you're ready. You're ready? I'll try. So we are lifting off. And we hold one, two, three, four, and five. You breathe in and out. So we are going to go for upward facing dog. Everyone, go for upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Come to your knees, and you're going to hold to the back, your heels, and you go for coming. So make sure you have an arch in your back. And you come back. So you're going to go to downward facing dog. Come back to your knees. And you go for the second camel. So for five. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are back. I hope everyone has tried out the camel. We are going to go for a bridge. We are almost done. So you don't be worried about your data. Or if you're running out, we are almost done. So we are going to go for the bridge and everyone is going to find themselves at the back. So you sleep on your back. You sleep on your back. So the aim here is to lift you lift off the pelvis for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down. So from here, we are going to go for a wheel. And I hope everyone is ready for a wheel. If you, if you don't know a wheel, you're going to find a wall easily. Or you can slip down like I'm doing onto your mat. You bring the hands close to your ear. And you lift. So we stay there for one, two, three, four, and five. So you breathe, people. We are going to try out the second bridge. We are only doing two today, but normally I do six. So we shall do two and ready. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Amazing. First we did five, now we did ten. I hope everyone has tried out ten. Yeah, so we are going to go for Supta. Or you make the, the two soles of your feet to touch. You lie on your back. So you bring your right hand to touch your belly. And left hand to touch your chest. You breathe in. 
you close your eyes and allow yourself to acknowledge the effort and the strength you've used a few minutes back. Acknowledge yourself for the ability to be on your mat. So many people out there, they're just sleeping. So this is amazing for you to be on your mat and do something for your body, see something for yourself. I mean, in this journey, a lot can happen. So I'm also humbled to be with my partner over here. He's doing a great job. So, I mean, a journey is a journey. You don't judge who goes where and where they stop. So, I'm so happy also for you people. So, I'm doing also a climax for this class. And I'm grateful that you guys are here. I hope you're enjoying and you're having a good time like I am. Like you can see I'm sweating and I mean it's part of the game. So right now we are going to go for some cool down and next time we shall work on the abdominals, we shall work on the but now we are just going to do an opening, a few hip opening, and then, yeah, we shall do a deep rest. So, are you ready? We are going to meet in downward facing dog, everyone. We are going to raise the right leg up and bring it in the middle of your feet make sure this leg is in 90 and the back leg is straight and you go for half pigeon please try to sit straight first and feel the stretch and slowly you're going to raise the hands up and you fold forward so you're going to stay there for 10 seconds and feel your half pigeon on the right really working good and slowly we are going to raise back to downward facing dog and you take the left leg and you press it in the middle of your mat Make sure the front leg is working. Raise your hands and fold forward. You breathe. You stay here for the same seconds, 10 of those. You breathe in and out and slowly you're going to swing the back leg to the front and go for half for full or double pigeon so you can put the leg here here down just here or on the body so you sit straight and you raise your hands up and you press them down. You raise your hands up and you press them in the prayer position. Open up prayer position. Squeeze in and fold forward and you change. So you make sure now the left leg is on the right leg. So you're going to raise the hands, bring them to prayer position, open, raise, prayer position, open, raise, prayer position, fold forward, and back. So you're going to 
try and jiggle his legs a bit. And we are going to go for frog. So frog, you come to kneeling and you're going to open really, really wide. So I'll do it this way. Make sure you would like a frog, like really, really a frog. And you send back and you hold here. So if you can go deeper than this, please do it and go for it. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you come back. Check out these legs. So you can always do this at home by yourself for more opening. So we are going to do rejuvenation and this rejuvenation. You can choose to do a handstand, a shoulder stand, an elbow stand, or a handstand. So for us here, we are going to do a shoulder stand. And we shall do the shoulder stand with the few variations that I have put in and some that I've I mean, you have to do in a sequence. So, we are going for shoulder stand and we shall do it um, in this line so you can see. So, he will do the front and I'll do the side. So, we are going to go for shoulder stand. We lift ourselves really really high make sure the legs are straight and we are going to send the legs to our face send them there make sure the legs are straight you're going to bend the legs in to hold your ears Get them back straight. Bring the bring one at a time to make them straight again. And you bend. Let the two soles of your feet to touch. Slowly bring them back and bend to come back to sitting. I hope everyone has seen it, so you can try it for yourself. And that shoulder stand is an amazing one, so please try it out. Right now, I am going to go for Supta. Everyone, you're going to make your soles to touch, and you're going to slip back. So you slip back. And in this sleeping back, doesn't mean like really go to resting, but I mean, we are trying to go into a resting, a deep rest. So we are going to do a, a spine twist on the right side. So you lift, make the left leg straight, lift, the, lift this right leg, bring it up cross, and leave this hand to be there, and you look where the hand is. So try to look at the, the right hand where it is and try as much as you can to push this leg really, really down and feel that stretch. This is why it's called a spine twist. And slowly you change. Change, everyone. And you take the left side. So you lift the left leg. Take it to the over the right leg and look where the left hand is and you go for a spine twist. So you breathe, don't hold your breath at any time, and you come back. So you go for supta. So make the two soles of your feet to touch and you lie on your back. You close your eyes you 
close your eyes this is like one of the most important poses in yoga like if i don't do this i don't feel like i have done anything for myself so like the next pose that we are going to you're going to make your legs straight you lie back make the two palms look up and you go for savasana like this is my best pose like this pose is amazing i don't know if everyone knows that it's amazing but it's so amazing so like he's doing everyone you should be in savasana you close your eyes So I'm really humbled for everyone that is watching Rida, Kezia, Shakila. I'm really humbled like you guys are making this happen. Edna, Mary, Ava. I'm so humbled you guys are amazing. Jackie Thank you for watching, Elijah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this class. I'm really happy that you're part of this amazing class. And I can't stop saying I'm grateful. Situle, my friend, thank you. So, in this Savasana, everyone is going to be here. And I can share this with you. So as you close your eyes and enjoy from the comfort of your home, I'm really grateful that I have made this possible, but also God has made it possible for everyone. But I'm also happy that you have made it possible, whoever is watching and doing out this. It's amazing. Like, this is out of the comfort, as usual. So I'm humbled. Like, you have sent me out of my comfort. Coronavirus has sent me out of my comfort. So I'm humbled. Yes. Um, you're going to bring back life to your feet. And awaken your hands, your whole body. Slowly, you're going to come to sitting and close your eyes in any comfortable position. You breathe in and out. You close your eyes. And you're going to raise your hands up. You bring them to prayer position. Close your eyes and focus. Allow yourself to cool down. So I acknowledge you for being part of this class. I acknowledge you for watching, taking time to be available for yourself, but also for this class. I acknowledge you for your efforts, for your strength, for your ability and capacity to be where you are and do what you're doing at your best. May the light in me shine the light in you, and the light in you shine the light in me. Namaste. So thank you so much. I hope to see you next time, and possibly it would be Thursday. So Thursday, I am going to do another class, and I hope you can join me and be part of, I mean, this amazing class. It's always once in a while that you take time and feel happy about what you're doing, but also about your body. So this is an amazing time for everyone to, like, really, really be part of an amazing experience. So I'm really excited and happy that you have been part of this amazing class. Yes, uh, 
this can only happen if you're watching and you're taking time for yourself just continue following my page thursday i mean you can't afford to miss out my family doing yoga like my family is amazing they'll do yoga and you'll be like wow so please be available to see watch and enjoy namaste